Hey folks, and welcome to another episode of Inside Battlefield. My name is Tom, Community Manager for Battlefield, and this week we're excited to try something new on the podcast. So instead of sitting down with our team, I'm joined today by a member of the community to talk Battlefield from the perspective of our players. So without further ado, uh, with me today is Logan the Brawler. Hello. Hello, Tom. How's it going? Yeah, I'm excited to be here. Yeah, it's pretty exciting uh, to have you on the podcast as well. First time we were sitting down and chatting with uh, one of our players. So today, the spotlight is on Logan. So we want to talk a little bit about, you know, what, what Battlefield means to you. How did you get into the game? You're a leader within your community. You're a content creator. So we'll dive in there. Before we do that, do you want to give a, a quick intro about yourself? Yeah, sure. Uh, my name is Logan, and I'm a YouTube content creator with focus on Battlefield. Uh, I'm also a community leader for the Claw community. We play a lot of Battlefield, and uh, yeah, that's who I am. Awesome. So thanks for being here today. And um, like you, you've watched our Battlefield Death Corner streams, but now you're actually sitting in the recording studio yourself. So how does that feel? Yeah, I'm, you know, a Battlefield fanboy. So yeah, kids on Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing to be here. <laughs> awesome. Um, so you actually live in Sweden, so you're from Sweden yourself. You live pretty close to here, I think. Yeah, it's just a couple hours drive. Yeah, two, two hours away or something. So um, we've been chatting on the side on like Discord sometimes, and I, I watched your videos, which I always enjoy. And we've had you at some of our events, uh, streaming, etc. So I thought, let's have Logan in the studio because you, you live close and... Uh, Let's talk a little bit Battlefield. Yeah. And uh, that's what we're doing today. Um, so let's uh, let's dive in. Is there some questions about you, Logan? You, you good? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Um, so you're a big fan of Battlefield, as we uh, discussed in much detail already over the course of the day over some nice Swedish fika. Um, how did you first get introduced to the series? Um, I started way back, you know, the first game, 1942. Uh, got in, got impressed, got, got on Wake Island, I believe, was my first match, and was impressed by the, you know, airplanes and the tanks and everything, the big open areas, the sandbox, I love it. Yeah. Awesome. And I think yeah, you mentioned as well earlier when we were chatting, like, before you were only mostly into single-player games? Yeah, that's correct. I, I got into the multiplayer thing more in Battlefield, at the end of Battlefield 3, maybe Battlefield 4 start. Uh, a colleague of mine just dragged me into, hey, you need to play this. And then we talked and played the, at the same time. And I fell in love with the franchise all over again. And since then, yeah, multiplayer it is. Awesome. And um, you also, um, you are also a content creator uh, in your spare time. So can you talk a little bit about how you then ended up from like, you know, being a fan of the game to also creating content for Battlefield or about Battlefield rather? Uh, yeah, I started in like in Battlefield 4 there. I started like recording game sessions, just me and my friends messing around, having some fun. And then someone said, yeah, put it on YouTube. And then we can watch it in 10 years and laugh about it. And that's how I got into content creation, getting into getting those news videos out and covering everything new to Battlefield. And I really enjoy it. It's so much fun being part of the capture events and stuff like that, trying stuff out, being a real, you know, a hand between the community and developers. Awesome. And so, so you mentioned like you started around Battlefield 4. So how long have you been creating content? I think I started around 2016, maybe 15. Oh, sorry, 14, 2014. <laughs> I'm like, I'm counting in my head. Yeah, like, me what too. What year is it again? <laughs> so, yeah. so almost 10 years, basically. Yeah, yeah. But a more serious way when I got to join the EA Creator Network and stuff like that being a, more a big part and uh, starting the community really means much to me uh, finding new friends every day to play with yeah so um i would love to talk a little bit about like you know the, the community your call community we'll, we'll get into that shortly but you also mentioned um or sorry you you have your youtube channel so um for folks who don't know your youtube channel feel free to just give a shout out where they can find you oh nice yeah i can you can find me on youtube you search for logan the brawler and my channel name is logan the brawler gaming and you will find me i cover everything new to battlefield and stuff like that so come come check it out awesome so what 
What type of videos do you usually make? Yeah, mo most of the times it's like covering, you know, updates and patch notes and news and, and, and also several gameplay videos when I just play with the community, have some fun, just laughing about it. Yeah, like I, I remember there was a video of yours recently where uh, you were playing on Valparaiso with a friend and you were just in, you know, in a squad and you were on voice comms, kind of... PTFOing, yeah, like you were talking about. Okay, let's take this objective. Where is the guy? Like, oh, he's, oh, he's behind like the house, and you know, you try to revive each other. I don't know, but like with the classic Battlefield banter over voice comms, and uh, it was very amusing to me. So I was like, let's get this guy over in the oh, studio. Okay, he lives okay. in Sweden. <laughs> Let, <laughs> let's have a chat. Um, but yeah, like, how has that grown for you over the years? So it's close to ten years since, you, since you've been making videos, um, like. At the start, it was, you know, you, you were still learning stuff, how to do it, probably. The quality wasn't as high as your current videos, probably, either. Like, no, that's correct. Can you... Uh, I think... Journey, man? Yeah, the more the more serious videos about the news and uh, stuff like that, uh, streams, uh, that, that began, like, five years ago. Before that, it was more like a hobby thing. Yeah, yeah and then, uh, you know, people started watching, and it became a, a hobby of mine, that serious hobby, I would say. I would love to do... Uh, Every time after work, like are you, are you? Would you consider yourself like a very creative person? Yes, I would. I'm a very creative person. Okay, that's that is awesome. And we didn't actually touch upon this earlier, but in your spare time you make uh, videos. Or you're a content creator, but in real life you work at a school as well. And I think you mentioned, um, or we talked about earlier, that you play instruments and yeah, work with, with yeah, children. I, I work at a school, uh, and which uh, it, me being so creative, I work at a school with a lot of classes with music and choirs and stuff like that and I love to teach music and I play the guitar, the, ba the bass and the drums and yeah sometimes ukulele. Ukulele, awesome. <laughs> Don't play it myself but it's cool so um, yeah content creation for videos for Battlefield, playing music, um, sounds, sounds like a, a great time. Oh yeah absolutely. Um, in terms of being a leader within your community so you, you mentioned earlier that you, like, you are the leader of the, the Claw clan community. Yeah, Claw community. It. Claw is short for Claws of Logan. Logan That's the, the Brawler. Claws yeah, Logan the Brawler, yeah. And also, like, you're wearing a Logan the Brawler t-shirt right now. Yeah, I had to. With, like, three, uh, like, from the, the stripes from the, yeah, the Claws. Yeah, my logo. Yeah, your, your logo. Um, exp explain the logo to us. <laughs> like, we can't see it now, but for folks who check out your channel, Logan the Brawler Gaming Day, they can obviously see the logo there, but for folks who are only listening, like... Uh, what does the logo look like and how did it come to be? Yeah, uh, the name Logan comes from uh, I love Wolverine. I, uh, I'm, I'm a real Marvel fan, so yeah. I, yeah, you know Logan. He's a cool guy, uh, immortal and stuff. And uh, these are, yeah, the three red scratches, much like, you know, his claws. Yeah. And that's why the claw community. Okay, awesome. Yeah. And also, we talked about this before the podcast, you mentioned you're a creative guy, but you also, I think you also mentioned you worked as a tattoo artist at some point. Yeah, was, yeah, several years ago, yeah. So you did did a lot of cool stuff. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And my latest one, uh, I don't know if people can see it on my social media, but I got, I got the, the battlefield tattooed all over my thigh right over here. That is actually very cool. So it's 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 uh, for folks who cannot see it now. It's it's battlefield with the claw logo behind it. Yeah, pretty cool. So thanks. <laughs> I, I mean, <laughs> that, that's quite big fan. Oh yeah, I'm a big yeah. fan. I'm yeah. a big fan. Awesome. Yeah. Um, so let's let's dive a little bit into the history of I guess Claw, like the, the community. How did it came to be? Um, when 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 did you start it? And yeah, uh, the Claw community came together. I started like Discord, and uh, a lot of people joined in that way. And then platoons uh, was a thing in Battlefield One, and I think yeah, of course you're gonna have a platoon, and uh, it, we we named it Claws of Logan, and it's short for Claw, and we had that tagged. And that's, uh, yeah, people were starting joining in, seeing it as a community instead of a strict platoon. Uh, mostly Swedish people from the start, mm -hmm. uh, but then people all over the world, you know, uh, people started watching my videos and then, what, oh, I want to get into Discord and talk to this guy. And yeah, we were like five to 15 people every evening playing Battlefield uh, and sitting in Discord having fun. And how big is the, the Claw community on Discord? I think we're coming up on 700 members right now. That that is very big. Yeah. So and you folks play together every 
I should mention. Yeah, not all 700. That's a lot of people. <laughs> imagine, imagine. Yeah, that would, that, that, yeah. yeah no, Try to do some squad play with that. Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah, we get together every evening, and I'll be also host our events every Friday called Clash with Claw, and that's the Claw Community uh, event that you can find every Friday. Uh, just go into the portal browser, and you can search for Claw, and you will find us. And uh, so, so one thing I wanted to touch upon there as well is because I still believe some of our players don't know about this, but within Battlefield Portal, you can make your own servers. Um, you know, the, the Claw gaming event, and you can kind of set up in whatever way you like, but you, you run those every Friday? Yeah, I have a preset uh, server created over on the website, the portal browser yeah. there. Um, so I host those every Friday. It's real easy just to go in there, host, there we go, it's in the browser. Awesome, and you get full XP running most of yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's really important, I think. Full f full progress and full XP. Okay, awesome. So yeah, for, for folks listening who did not know, so we have that in Battlefield Portal where you can make your own servers, you can run them um, with full XP as well. So if you're looking for to play something else or you want to customize what you play versus what we have available in All Out Warfare, then I do recommend that you also check out Battlefield Portal to customize those modes and play with your friends and set up the events in the way you like them. So if you have a clan or a group of friends you play together with, I think that's a really nice nice way of doing it. Um, so then another part of, uh, of, of who you are or what you do is you are an ambassador for uh, a gaming charity, Gamers We Care. Yeah, that's correct. Gamers We Care. Uh, once every month we actually do... Uh, Clash with Claw featuring Gamers We Care. They're helping sponsoring the event once every month. And I've also been in, included in several of their charity stuff, like streaming for sick kids, uh, collecting uh, money for building a children's hospital up in Canada. It was a huge success. I know they did a pan can the other week. I wasn't part of that. But yeah, they're really, really doing some good stuff for everyone in the world. Yeah, and I think the... Uh, so first of all, shout, shout out to gamers we care yeah absolutely they, yeah it's it's a great charity and they they run a lot of cool events as well to just help people children like you just mentioned uh, how, how did you get involved with them uh, i know they were asking uh, for ambassadors like uh, that's over a year ago and you can you could apply and just be part of it i got invited from several years ago and talked to them before the ambassador program there and uh, it was streaming for them in some some extent and uh, then they started the ambassador program, and yeah, sure, I want to be a, I want to be a part of that. I want to help out. Yeah, awesome. So, um, you, you like you're a leader within your community. Like you make videos as well, like you know gameplay to to share game info, but also to help people play the game. Um, ambassador for for gamers we care. Um, that's a lot of cool stuff. So, <laughs> you know, like being kind of a public figure within the community. Um, how how does that feel? What does that feel like for you? Uh, I don't see myself as a big character in this world. Uh, I've heard from several that they do. They, they come to me with problems, uh, both in game and personal. They, you know, the people that I've played with over several years now, and I know them as best friends. You can go in and play with them every time uh, you want. Uh, but it, yeah, and now to get invited here to be a part of this amazing podcast, it's, <laughs> that, it's pretty huge. Yeah. yeah. No, but it's like I, I wanted to bring it up as well because, you know, like people play their games for funds, but for fun, for funds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, um, I, I know, as a, especially as a kid growing up and like playing video games, there were always like players within that community of whatever game I was playing that like either they were very good at the game or maybe they made content and you look up to them. So it's pretty cool that like, so you are one of those figures now, but people. But you don't see yourself that way. No, uh, I actually got the question pretty pretty recently. Um, yeah, I've, I've looked up to many of the content creators, streamers, DICE developers, uh, the, the job you do over here. Yeah, it's amazing. And I looked up to those guys. I don't see myself as one of those guys now. But yeah, I am. And uh, I will do the best I can for the community, for the games, for pretty much, yeah, I will do everything I can. Awesome. Yeah, no, and uh, like we, we, so we invited you to the studio today f to, to sit on the podcast with me, but obviously we met with the team as well. So we had a quick chat and we were able to pick your brain on a few things. So that was a lot of fun as well. But I feel um, both from like, you know, our, our community as players, but also as our teams, like that connection is, I think, very important for, for all of us 
to just connect and talk about the game that we built, but we also love. Yeah, amazing to meet the team. Uh, I've talked to several or played with several of them, uh, both in game and interacting on social media and stuff. And it's so much, it's an amazing feeling just to get a face and say hello. And now you want to talk to me and pick my brain about stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's amazing. To be, as I said, to be, to be able to do something better, both for the game and the players and yes. the community. And um, do you feel like, you know, as, as, a, as, as someone that is a leader, at least within your own community, um, that you have, uh, like, how do you envision that role that you have to represent, you know, your, your, your community to other players, but also maybe a, a little bit the game because you, you love it, you're a fan of the game. Uh, how, how do you see that? Sometimes it's pretty hard not to get, you know, I'm very passionate about this yeah. game and franchise overall. And sometimes you have to just take a breather. You know, people come in and nagging about stuff and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, you have to do it. Take, take a breather and just, yeah, do what you can about it. Get a solution, uh, whatever. <laughs> okay. Um, and something else, something else I actually forgot to touch upon earlier, but I, uh, I saw recently on social media that like the Claw events you run, you had a, a physical get together. Oh yeah. With, with members of the clan. Uh, so I'd love to hear more about that. Like, you know, how did it come together? Like. How many folks did you meet with? Where'd you go? What did you do? Did you fun? <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, it was really fun. Uh, we got together, it's a few weeks ago, uh, Claw Meetup, we named it. It's the third one. We had one last summer and one before the pandemic. Uh, and we, I think, were like 20 people, 20, 25, that got together, both on the... Several people showed up already on the Friday. The, the meetup was on the Saturday, yeah. but everyone showed up at my place. So we had a <laughs> real huge party at my place, and my neighbors just woke up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was pretty fun. Uh, yeah, and the second day, the meetup, we all got together for... Uh, I managed to get a restaurant, an eSport restaurant, to open up earlier for just us, so we can sit there and play and uh, eat lunch. And then we got over to Laser Dome in Lean Shopping, and... Uh, just played a few rounds, and after that, we joined up later in the evening at uh, and played some bowling, arcade games. Yeah, a lot of lot of food and drinks. Nice. So, lovely time, basically. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. What, and uh, what was it the first time you um, you met some of these folks, or? Yeah, I think three or four of them was the first time I met them. Uh, obviously played with uh, all of them in game and talked to them in Discord, but then never seen them in real life. So pretty cool. Yeah, like it's it's actually uh, how I first came to Sweden as well from like some of the games I used to play back in the day. You know, started chatting online with friends and then I eventually yeah. uh, came to Sweden to to meet them. And now I live here many years later, which is funny. But uh, it's yeah. cool. It's always cool. You know, folks you meet in game because you end up spending a lot of time online chatting each other. You become good friends. And then uh, you end up meeting, which is awesome. Yeah. In the meantime, do, do we want to eat a cookie or do we want to save it for the end? Like I'm, I'm getting a little bit hungry. Yeah, sure. We can grab a cookie. <laughs> okay, let's do that. So here's the, where, where did we put them? There we go. So I, I don't actually know what these are because we had a little bit of a, a, a fika this morning where yeah. we had some canil buller. And so I think these are some, some type of brownie. I don't know. But they, uh, <laughs> I'm kind of curious. Yeah. So in the background, everybody hears the ASMR of the live unboxing of the <laughs> of the brownie. Is it a brownie? More of a fudge. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, got some nuts, raisin. Nuts, raisin. I know folks you know, who listen to the podcast are probably curious about the lore of this cookie slash brownie slash fudge. I don't know the lore of this <laughs> cookie. No, I was hoping for to hear you try to pronounce something in Swedish. <laughs> and do it very wrong. <laughs> yeah. So, hmm, there's a little bit of a salty taste to it as well. That's yeah, good. So, we'll continue discussion after I finish eating this one. Yeah, I do that. <laughs> a lot of chocolate. Yeah, there's a lot of chocolate in here. <laughs> Damn, it's actually like the, the initial, the chocolate hits you later. Yeah. <laughs> this is quite good. Um, hmm. I um, get to eat quite a, 
a lot of cookies in my in my days. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> or these days, rather. Um, cool. That was a nice cookie. So I think both myself and Logan, we skipped breakfast, so we got a little bit hungry there. So yeah. we had to <laughs> do <laughs> yeah. a, a, a quick cookie of the week. Well, usually we save that for the end. So apologies, folks. I don't know what this cookie is called. It was a little bit salty slash fudgy with a lot of chocolate, had some nuts and raisins. What What is your final verdict, uh, Logan? Yeah, it was good. A lot of chocolate. Um, yeah, good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. Good. I don't think we we had a bad cookie on the podcast once. It was extremely salty. That's that's all I remember. There was too much salt in there. Um, hmm, okay. Anyway, let's go back to uh, to talking a little bit more about Battlefield. Um, so right now, you and your clan play Battlefield 2042 a lot. Yeah. Yeah, Pre- pretty much every night, as you mentioned. So, I guess I would love to just hear a little bit more about, you know, what's your favorite gun, what's your favorite map, etc. I really, let's see, let's start with the map. I like uh, Flashpoint. It's one actually one of my favorites that came with season four, right? I think. Yep. So shout out to our Ripple Effect Studio. That's like one of the maps they actually made. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. So our team in LA. Okay, I like your maps too. So <laughs> uh, hey, we don't pick favorites here. No. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, the new one, Reclaimed. It's really fun. Yeah. A little nod to Savod there. Yep. I know. And uh, me, you know, like in Battlefield 4. That's a, that's a big thing. Uh, otherwise, I, I would say Orbital is one of my favorites. Yeah. I'm, I'm nodding. It's, uh, it's, I, I have a special relationship with Orbital in a good way. Yeah. Um, I think it was one of the first maps I played for 2042. Yeah, same for me. Um, I think it was in the beta. It was in the beta. Yeah. Yes. Um, but like, yeah, just the uh, the towers opposite of each other in the long runway. It's, it's really cool. Yeah, you just get up there and just use that wingsuit to fly all over the map. I love it. Yep. <laughs> and, you know, the the rocket launch can oh, yeah. happen or it can fill, which is also cool. It can blow up. Yeah. And Noticed. Here at our Battlefield Studios, we love blowing shit up. Yeah. <laughs> As I love to mention in, in all of our podcasts and streams. But uh, so, yeah, Flashpoint, uh, Orbital. And uh, what did I say? I said reclaimed. Reclaimed. Yeah, I like I like reclaimed. What a, so that that is our our newest map. So shout out to Savat there as well. Like what what about like all the graffiti? Are you a close quarters combat type of guy? Or? It's a nice change actually. Uh, not to have that long long of a run. Uh, it's not that a, not that big of a big map. And you yeah the warehouse is in the center there, or you can just go at it in the in the D flag. I know the bunker. Love that thing, just to get, try to get in there through the meat grinding thing in the door. Um, yeah, it's a good map, and it looks good. Uh, yeah, graffiti all over the place. I noticed you put some... Where, oh, that's a new one. Every time. I like it. Awesome. And uh, what about weapons? Yeah, you were saying loving to blowing shit up. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, no, it's all good. <laughs> yeah, uh, the, the, uh, I really like using that RPG. The, the new one? Yeah, the, the guy, one? yeah. Yeah. Uh, when I noticed you put it in the game, I was like, okay, this is my go-to. Getting those helis, I think it's a one-shot, at least, with RPG. on the Not the big heli, but the, the, the smaller ones. And uh, being able to pick out a jet pilot to flying too low from your parachute. That feeling. It's like one of those Battlefield moments, basically. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, feels good. <laughs> Only in Battlefield. Like, uh, we, like, we were... When were we streaming? We were streaming on Tuesday... So it's now Thursday. So when we were streaming on Tuesday, we had a, a few of those moments where, like, during the stream, like, you see those those jets coming in low. And, uh, like, it's it takes quite a bit of skill to shoot down, like, an enemy jet or a helicopter w- because you don't have a target designation. You have designation. to time it now. You, you have, have to time, time it perfectly. But when you get those moments, they're just really cool. Yeah, it's an iron sight on the thing. So yeah. I don't usually aim. I, I just hip-firing it. <laughs> and get lucky, I guess. I think we would refer to that as yellowing it. Yeah, I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But look, we, we talked a little bit about, you know, who you are, um, what you do for Battlefield, but also in, in your spare time, your content creation, um, like your favorite guns, like your favorite maps. But, you know, as, as a player and a leader in your community, uh, we would also obviously love to hear just what are your current thoughts on Battlefield 2042? What do you like? What do you dislike? Any thoughts you wanted to share, like feedback you've seen from within your community, um, and, and what, what's 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 on your mind, basically? Yeah, okay. Uh, I think Battlefield 2042 right now is in the state that it should have been released in. 
and I think many can agree. Uh, I love the new features that we got back. You know, we got the scoreboard, obviously, all the way, way back. And we got the squad management. We got the uh, squad orders now in up to 5.2. I really like that. A little extra for doing following orders. Yep. Um, yeah, I really like the state the Battlefield 2042 is in right now. Uh, I know many players feel the same. And many players are coming back to the game playing now. Compared to, uh, yeah, you know, people were kind of disappointed at the launch and maybe just given, didn't give it that much of a time that they should. Uh, and now they're coming back and they're really liking the game. And so do I. Okay, well, that, <laughs> that, that, that's good to hear. Uh, I think the, the team has done a great job of, you know, adding in futures over the season and is constantly, continuously improving game. But ultimately, we do that for the players, such as yourself. So on that note... I just want to say that I'm personally super excited to talk with a member of our community today on the podcast. Um, to everybody listening, I hope you enjoyed it as well. And hopefully we can do this again in the future. So reach out to us at podcast at battlefield.com or hashtag inside battlefield on our social channels. Um, if you're interested, if you have thoughts, comments, maybe you want to appear on an episode in the future, let us know. Um, Logan, thank you so much for being here as well today. Um, I hope you had fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. I had some really, really fun. Thank you so much for inviting me and having me on this podcast and letting me be here at the Dice. Yeah, cheers. Uh, is there anything else you want to mention? Maybe a shout out to your clan, some of the folks? Uh, I know one guy that's going to get really excited if I give a shout out to him. His name is Hainsworth. He's an awesome player and been in my community for, I think, seven years now. I want to be a big shout out to him. And of course, the Claw community. Thank you so much for doing what you're doing and sticking with me. Everyone watching my videos. Yeah. Awesome. Um, just before we end, just give another, uh, you know, where can folks find you on Discord, Twitter, and YouTube? Yeah, on YouTube, you can find me on Logan the Brawler Gaming. And in every video, I have actually links to all my social media. Mm -hmm. And it's Logan the Brawler everywhere. So go to Twitter. You can find Logan the Brawler. Follow me there see all the updates i do stuff there that i don't post on youtube like uh, cosmetic things telling you what new in the game and stuff like that and discord as a link in every video everyone is welcome to the claw community discord awesome cheers logan uh and to everybody listening thank you and we'll see you in the next one bye bye this is logan signing out <laughs>